refresh my face with this. What I'm gonna try to. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I was kind of skeptical of using it today because it's a little hot. I already have oily skin, but it does say that this have a long lasting matte finish. So, hey, I'm going in with it. I normally use the CoverGirl Simply Ageless because you know, girl up in age. <laughs> but hey, let's do something different today. Hopefully it works out for us, honey. I would, I got a lot of it. I'm just gonna smack it into the skin, put it into the skin a little bit. And I'm gonna definitely get around my T-zone areas because I'm always oily. Now I normally just go ahead in and set my primer and I usually set it with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this is the color 30 Medium Deep. And this is what I normally use to set that primer in. And I just take a regular all around fluffy brush. So I just go in and I kind of make sure I press it in the skin real good. And I just set my primer with that powder. I know it's the weirdest thing, but this technique works really good for me. Next, I was going to conceal first, but I'm going in with my foundation. And I'm deciding since I did use the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, because I need to use the e.l.f. Flawless Satin foundation. It's oil free, so it's good for me because I have acne prone skin, but it's kind of like a downer because it's like a satin finish. So it's like you have to build up the coverage versus if I use the full coverage by Revlon, then I don't have to use as much foundation. We're going to go with the e.l.f. We're going to stick with the same brand. Let's do that. Now, am I the only one, but I actually, or I literally use a plate. Yeah, I use a plate. I put my eyelash glue and everything on here, honey. I don't know. That's just something I do. I mean, but yeah, let's put this all over my skin and I can blend it in with a brush. I never really use a brush to put my foundation in. Should I try it today? Let's try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna use this brush here. This is a face flat brush and it's by BS Smalls. It's the same people that made, that I got the sponges from. So let's see, let's see how it looks on my skin. Not too shabby actually. I like the way it looks with the brush. So I guess I'm supposed to just put some glitter on the brush or maybe not, I don't know. The color that I'm using is the Neutral Undertone Caramel because my veins give off green and blue. Depends on the time of day, I don't know. Yeah. One day my veins look green and one day I need to look blue. So just to make it easy for me, to, I just do neutral color. Neutral undertone, it's just neutral. But yeah, look at that. This is good. This is a satin coverage. It's not full coverage, but look at it. I used three pumps of this to get it to look the way it looks. Wow, this has a good payoff. I love it. Okay, so if you're shopping guys on a budget but need some foundation, I definitely would suggest this Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. Oil free, it's medium coverage, so I had to go in with three pumps, especially if you have good hyperpigmentation. And it actually did great at covering up everything. And again, I got 450 caramel. Now, I'm gonna try to conceal, and I should have color corrected before I did this, but hopefully I don't mess up too bad. Hopefully. That's a lot of color corrector, girl. What is you doing? Well, I like to go on my eyelid too because under my eyes and my eyelid are dark. So I do both. And people be like, don't do that. This is how I do my makeup. I'm showing you what I'm doing to get myself ready to get on out of here. So today, I know y'all like, where are you going, Brody? It is Saturday, honey. You know it's family day today. But we doing a nice outing with the family. So I got this nice greenish color pantsuit that I got from Fashion Nova that I'm gonna put on. So it's really, really pretty. But yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm gonna conceal it still. My eyelid and under my eye, I have like really, really bad under circle, dark circles, and just the color is just really off. So I'm going with this color corrector and I blend it in real good. Here we go. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer Color Corrector and it's called Orange Corrector. It's not red, it's orange. All right, so after color correcting, I'm not gonna go through my concealer yet because I crease real bad under my eye. So I am gonna go ahead on and do my cream contour and I use the True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. I only use this color here. This is supposed to be a sculptor, but I think it's more for someone with a lighter tone. But anyway, I go in with a stipple brush small and it's by elf and I do it different ways I usually follow my bone structure and this is my bone structure here and some people say go up a little higher I do things different depends on the day and I want it to be a harsh line so I'm blending it and then I'm gonna come down on my jawline then I'm gonna blend it into my foundation I'm gonna go up and I got it all in that jawline all up under my neck and my ear so I got that boom I can still blend that out some more all right let's go in on the other side I 
Okay, so mental check-in, guys. How is my mental doing after the last time we did a get ready with me with Fashion Nova? Like I said, I'm pushing through to get this content out to you guys. So I'm doing okay. I felt a little more of a funk yesterday, but I pushed through because, you know, I had to be there for the kids and everything else like that. So I pushed through that situation, okay? So let's conceal and then we're gonna highlight. So I'm gonna first, let's do the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. So let's just conceal first and then I'll go back and highlight in a second. Yep, so I've been doing really good. Keeping myself busy, getting some sunlight, getting my walks in during the day. Even if I don't get my walk in, at least get some sunlight. So that's been working out really good for me. My little boy has a game on the 21st of t-ball and that's been keeping me busy like i told y'all because he has practice during the week school trying to keep him up with school work all right so now i'm going in with the time to highlight this is a 16 hour again camel concealer by an elf and this is in the color chestnut once we do that we're gonna have to set under our eye set that contour to slay the day. Now, one thing, I, I'm wearing this green two-piece set. It's like a, a hoochie business outfit. I'm mixing hoochie and business together, honey. But it ties up in the back, but a little bit of the stomach, the belly is out. So I'm gonna slay the streets out here, girl. The streets calling me. I'm gonna have to go ahead and set under my eye, cause y'all know, I've explained to y'all, like under my eyes just doesn't do well. It just creases so bad, honey. I'm gonna actually go in with a damp beauty blender and blend it in. In, and I'm gonna set it like that. We're gonna bake it. This is the old school Sasha Buttercup. I know everybody already moved away from that because they said they have a problem with flashing, but I haven't had too much of a problem. I'm gonna try some different stuff. They got the Huda Beauty that's supposed to be pretty good. They got the Charlotte Tilbury that's supposed to be really good. And Anastasia Beverly Hills supposed to be good. So we might switch out whenever I run out of this one. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a while and put a little bit more because I'm gonna sweep it with my face setting powder. That's how I get rid of my flash. I set it with another powder. I'm putting I sweep it loose. I want to go back in with the cover girl. This is old, so it's really ugly. I, I'm scared to show it, but it's the cover girl queen collection ebony bronzer. And I got it in the Q120. It's the natural hue bronzer. Let me let y'all know how bad I'm using it. Like what condition is it in? Bad condition, terrible condition. And I just take the e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to go in and set my contour. And I'm gonna take it all the way down to my neck, all behind my ear. Like I said in my last video, if you know about this bronzer, you've been doing makeup for a long time. Let's set my eyelid. I'm going in with this powder. And this is a little small, really it's for blush. But I use it for my eyelid. It just covers a good deal of a large area and it's just easy to sweep on so I can try to get my eyeshadow done. All right, so let's do eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do green. Reason being, I don't wanna look like I'm the green monster. We already got green outfit we're wearing, so we're just gonna go in with a nice gorgeous color. Color. Keep it in a goldish, yellowish kind of family. But right now I'm taking the Black Radiant Press Powder. It's like a bronzer in the color 8622. And I'm gonna use it as a transition shade. We're just gonna go in, blend it all over the eyelid as much as we can. Right in the crease, above the crease, below the crease. Now I like to start coming out and start winging. Put a wing on this. See the difference? Now I got more of a lift. There we go. So nice lift going on on each eye. So we're gonna go in with the Juvia's, the Nuvian 2 Juvia palette, Nefertiti color right here. I'm gonna use this large brush to make sure I can cover a large area. So it's giving me this orange nude, and then I'm gonna go on top of it with that nice shimmery gold just to make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, look at that. I love this orange. Now for Titi, that's beautiful. So I'm just packing it on really good. All right, so now guys that I got that in, I need to darken my crease and then also gonna layer it again with that nice shimmery color. And this is the MAC Mystery Satin Eyeshadow. All right guys, so now I'm going in with my small classic shader and I'm gonna go in with this old school palette that I have from a company called Motives by Lauren Redinger. She don't know, she took me a long way, girl.
rest of my face with, again, I'm using the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. All right, so let's get all this stuff from under our eye. It. We got all that for under my eye. Yeah, this is what I use in the center of my eye, little corner of my eye. Let's do our eyelids again. We got to go in with something under the eye. And I was looking at this NYX retractable eyeliner and it's in the color, it's waterproof, it's in the color golden olive. And then I also saw some pretty green in here called Egypt. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do these two. Coats air on really good. It's nice and pigmented. But y'all see that green? That's really pretty. And I think I'm going in with the precise shader brush. And then I'm gonna pick up some of this Egypt. And I hope that it does the thing, honey. That green is so pretty. And I'm gonna do the same for this eye. So I got the green under my eye. Let's do eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. And I got it in the color, this 800 Pitch Black. And then I start off with the one straight line. Listen, Maybelline have never failed me. I've been using Maybelline since I was in high school. And I don't tell you how long ago that was. Okay guys, so I've already did my eye. Now I'm about to use the Maybelline Fit Me number 50 blush, and it's in the color Wine. I think it'll be a great color, it's not too red. Look good with this green going on under my eye. And I like to sweep it in, try to keep it right in between my contour and my under eye stuff. And that's the color payoff right there. Now let's do something to these eyebrows. Now y'all know I don't do too much to my eyebrows now because I don't like looking crazy. But anyway, let's use a little bit of pomade for my eyes. And that's all I normally do to my eyebrows, y'all. I just feel like eyebrows are supposed to look like hair. And then I'm gonna put some of this Control Freak on my eyebrows. There we go, those are my eyebrows, guys. I keep the same shape I have. I don't try to change it, I don't try to manipulate it, I don't try to make it look heavier than it needs to look. All right, so I'm going in with Juvia's Place again, the Saharian Blush Volume 1, old school. Nice, friendly black girl highlighters here. I think I'm gonna do the Zara today. I'm gonna use my fan brush, and I'm gonna go into all the places that I got like highlight at or is light, and I'm gonna sweep it on there. Now I'm gonna do my eyelash off the camera because I just can't. I was gonna do the 400X Silk Fiber Mascara Ultra Carbon Black 2-in-1. So these uh, are some old eyelashes I usually use, but they're very thin, really, really thin, nothing too big. Lashes are on. And then I like the Rocket Volume, Maybelline Rocket Volume. And on the bottom, I go in with the Clinique High Impact Mascara on the bottom lash, which I hate doing bottom lash because I always mess up. Okay, that was the first time I haven't gotten on, on the bottom of my, um, well, let's not celebrate. I still gotta do eye number two. Now let's do a lippy. This is a Rimmel London. It's really dark. Look how small it is. That means I've been using it for years. And it glides on real smooth. Okay, so I have two colors here that I'm thinking about trying. This is an old lipstick, but this is the Mysterious here. And then I have the NYX Lingerie Double XL. Ooh, that's heavy. I know I'm getting ready for fall, but I don't know. That's what I wanted. And again, this is a NYX lingerie, and I go in with my little cheap dollar lipstick, and I blend them together. Yeah, this set everything. All right, guys, makeup is done. Well, let's see what this wig is doing, honey. This is the 
wig from Eunice Hair. I don't apply any heat to it. I mean, it still needs a little bit of TLC, but I think if I were to add heat to it, it really would need some. Maybe a year or a little over a year I've had this unit. It's been doing good. But let me get the outfit that I'm going to be wearing, guys. Stay right there. Okay, so this is an outfit from Fashion Nova. It is called the Lorraine Blazer Pants Set. And I got it in a 1X. So it's a crop blazer. It has shoulder pads in it. And it ties up around the breast and then it ties up really long and nice in the back. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing today. And then the pants, the pants are kind of thin. So I don't know when I have to wear undies. So I don't know how this is gonna look, but my favorite part of the pants is that it has to have like a split at the pants leg, right at the front. I thought that was super cute. I love that it has nice detailing in the front and back as far as like the seam goes and the darts that they use for sewing. Look at the darts. Look at that. The pants like are really long, so I plan on wearing some really, really tall heels. And that's gonna be it, guys. So I'm gonna put it on. So this is the finished outfit. I hope you guys like it. Again, this is a Fashion Nova two-piece. It's a Lorraine pants set, and I have it in a 1X. I got like a panty line show right now, because I'm PMSing, but it'll be fine. It really is cute. It has like cutouts on the side. I have to be careful though today, holding up my arms when I'm out there in these streets, because all my bra are gonna be out. That's the one thing I have to say, like they cut the crop top a little weird when it slides up your bra. I didn't know which earring to go with, so you have to tell me if you guys. I got these from the Indian market, and it has all of my favorite colors in it, and then this one is a pink. I got these from Sheen, so you have to tell me which one you guys like the best. I'm thinking about going with the pink. I know it's fall, so you would say, hey, go with a darker color, but this, this something about this pink and green together just really, really doing it for me. But y'all, the legs are really cute. These are the so yeah, I'm feeling green this fall for sure. I'm gonna see if I can find some arm candy, like some jewelry or something, some more pieces to go on my wrist. But yeah, I love this. And look how that string is in the back. Remember I told you it's a cutout in the sides in the back, and then it's this long string that hangs. But look at the sides. This is the side. I'm getting my brush on a little bit, but what do you guys think? You like it? I really love this set.